Now Akash Lab has got Akash Tech support project for us, mentored by Mr. Dushar Sharma and Mr. Virendra Verma. Akash Tech support provides a platform for Akash tablet users to freely express their problems, complaints, ideas, and discuss their issues that they are currently facing with the tablet and its technology. In case the discussion forum is unable to solve their problems, they can submit a ticket and get their issues resolved by technicians at Akash Labs IIT Bombay. Team is here. Good evening, everyone. I, Kavdeen Kalra, on behalf of the Akash Tech Support team, welcome you all. Let's have a glimpse of what we have done in the past two months. First of all, comes the purpose of our tech support team. There are around uh, one lakh tablets that have been distributed all over India in 300 colleges. And if they face an issue, then what to do? Therefore, to report these issues, they'll uh, come to our website and report the issues. The technologies that we have used. Mainly, we have focused on Python and Django. Last year, it was Joomla and PHP. And this year, we have made it in Python and Django. The two basic modules of our tech support is the discussion forum and the ticketing system. In the discussion forum, we have created an online platform where the users can post their questions and they'll get, get replies to their queries. We have just implemented it in the same way, like the Stack Overflow, uh, where other users can also post their replies. Uh, earlier, this facility was not available because only the admin used to post the replies. One more module is the ticketing system. Uh, this is also used for submitting your queries. So, uh, ask a question facility was there in the discussion forum, but uh, other users got to give the replies for it. And if you want a reply and you are not getting it for a very long period, then the technicians from uh, IIT Bombay are going to answer it. So, let's have a demonstration for it. Basically, to submit a ticket or to ask a question, you need to log in. Therefore, we have created two functionalities, login and register. For every uh, uh, text field that is there, the validations have been created in JavaScript and Django. And for the login facility, now when the user logs in, he'll have several options. Uh, he can go to his home, he can edit his profile, and uh, uh, he can also view his profile. Now Shubham will carry forward. Once the person is logged in, he could either uh, register himself into the system or either log in with his... Once the user is logged in, he could either go to the question part, see the queries, see if it has any interest of it. Like here, he can upload a downward uh, query. Accordingly, its value will change and it will be reflected into the questions part, the way in which its value is increased, like frequently viewed, frequently voted, or the ones which have not been answered yet and can post an answer in the same only. Together, we have clubbed all the questions into categories. Here, we can see category, their description, and the number of posts that are related to these categories. Here, each question is sorted according to the number of votes that it, ha it has. We have also maintained a user profile for a registered person. So that could have got clumsy in that panel only. So we have made that feature in a profile panel, profile way. Person can like search for a query, query also from here. Related questions will be displayed. Yeah. And this was not in the previous Joomla site. Similarly, there is a functionality like if we have here, here tags are limited, categories are limited. But we have, if we have multiple categories, the person can search for category also and results will be displayed and accordingly, if he clicks on one of the categories, all the related questions will be at his disposal. Like a person posts a question, he could view his profile and below that, the questions that he has posted and the answer that he has answered. Uh, hello, I am Kashra. So I will uh, take you through the discussion forum. Now in the discussion forum, as you can see, this is the basic uh, uh, question displaying page, uh, which shows the uh, title of the question and the body, and the related tag to it, and the user who has asked it. Asked it. So on clicking the title, it will redirect to a page where the uh, title, the entire body of the question is displayed, and along with the answer uh, given by other users. So uh, suppose the user doesn't find the uh, appropriate question in the discussion forum, so uh, he can uh, ask a question there 
uh, but for this you need to log in since it's already logged in in the name of abnts27 so i have a provision for asking the question here i will enter the title of the question for example um, select the category and the tag I will post the question. So, uh, when you post the question, it will not be directly posted on the forum. It will be sent to the admin for his approval. So, once the admin approves it, only then it will be shown. Now, I log out and will uh, log in again with the admin's ID. I will show uh, the approval. So, in the admin panel, there is an option called approval and where you, you can approve a post or the re, or a reply that has been uh, uh, already given by any other user. So, I have given a post, so I will click on the approve a post uh, section. So, uh, sir, so, um, can approve or delete the post, does not like. Suppose a user uh, does not find appropriate uh, replies to the, his questions, then you can always, uh, instead of waiting, uh, you can always submit a ticket to the uh, admin uh, for the uh, quick reply. And for, for that, I would like to invite Ms. Anurag to continue. In order to submit a ticket, the user clicks on the submit ticket link. Uh, he has to first log in in order to submit a ticket. So, uh, the fields required here are the tablet ID. By clicking on the username here, Upon submitting a ticket, he is presented with a unique ticket ID and the user has also an option to view all the tickets submitted by him. Uh, the user can view all the tickets submitted by him and earlier in the uh, pre-existing system, the admin only had rights to close a ticket. But in this uh, newly implemented system, we have uh, transferred that right to the user. Now the user, if satisfied with the reply of the admin, he can close the ticket by himself. Now we are going to look at the admin dashboard, Som is going to continue. So, for the admin dashboard, we have to log in as admin. So, first I log out and log as, as an admin. This is the dashboard and this is the ticket submitted uh, by Anurag just now Wi Fi connectivity. So, if uh, admin wants that, it should be forwarded to its staff member so he can add extra email. Like CC. Oh, that is a response. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if he wants that uh, his staff member also be informed about this, so he can add this. 